Mars. What has driven us to go there with our robotic emissaries time and again, decade after decade, are fundamental questions. Did life ever exist there? And does it still? Mars really gives us the best opportunity, I think, in the short term to make a significant discovery that will forever change how we think of ourselves and forever change um, how we think of space exploration in general. Look, if we can find life on another world. It, it, I think people are going to be so excited about the discovery and what comes next. NASA's Perseverance rover is heading to Mars with the express purpose of seeking signs of past microbial life. Using the same landing technique as its predecessor, Curiosity, Perseverance will hit the Martian atmosphere at 13,000 miles per hour. During what NASA calls seven minutes of terror, that's from the time the spacecraft enters the atmosphere until it lands, there is zero margin for error. Drag slows the vehicle as the heat shield absorbs 1,600 degrees. The parachute is deployed. The heat shield falls away. At one mile from the surface, rocket motors on the descent stage ignite and the back shell is released. Perseverance is then lowered on a tether to the surface in a place called the Jezero Crater. Eons ago, NASA says there was a lake and a delta here, a perfect place for life to have developed. And so I think what we're looking for are, are really the patterns and textures where we have a hard time explaining how that could have formed without the influence of life. As scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory identify the most intriguing spots, the rover will be directed to them to collect soil and rock samples. Containers with the samples will be left on the surface. Then in 2026, perhaps the most ambitious robotic mission ever, called Sample Return will begin. NASA and ESA, the European Space Agency, will send a fetch rover to pick up the samples, bring them to a rocket that will launch them into orbit around Mars, where another orbiter will rendezvous, capture the samples, and deliver them to Earth. It takes a little time to get out there. It takes time to pick up the samples on the surface. Then it takes time to actually get out of orbit at Mars and bring them back. So it's, it's a long and involved process, but it's one we're absolutely dedicated to and we're gonna make it happen. Once those samples reach Earth in 2031, scientists may finally be able to answer the question, did life ever exist on Mars and does it still? The search for life is the primary, but not the only mission objective. An oxygen generator will test the ability to turn Mars' mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere into oxygen for future human exploration. And there are microphones to listen to the sounds of Mars. And there's this, called Ingenuity. It's a helicopter equipped with cameras. Cutting edge technology NASA hopes to fly three times. Really just the very first flight um, where this helicopter spins its rotors and, and lifts up off the ground. Uh, it's gonna be both historic and, and we're gonna learn a lot. And what scientists learn from this mission may well be a seminal moment in our understanding of life beyond Earth. For My Radar, I'm John Zarella.